Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today is February 18th, and Samsung just pushed a brand new update to Galaxy Labs, and they also added two more modules. Now before I did cover Galaxy Labs, we talked about the File Guardian, Battery Tracker, Battery Guardian, and the Galaxy App Booster. But with this brand new update pushed out today, they added in Thermal Guardian and Memory Guardian. So we will be covering these two in today's video, but I will do a fast high overview of just what all these are. It's just a really quick description read. Just so then if you guys are not familiar with Galaxy Labs, you'll be able to see what these four are, but we'll really take a look at these two today. So how you're able to get this one downloaded is you wanna go inside of your Samsung folder and then inside of the Galaxy Store. Now inside the Galaxy Store, this is where you want to search for Galaxy Labs. Now Galaxy Labs is very similar to GoodLock. So GoodLock is a application with multiple modules that allows you to fully customize your phone. Now Galaxy Labs is a way that you're really able to uh, kind of step up everything your phone is able to do with memory and, and, and gaming and things like that. So Galaxy Labs, if you guys want to take a look right over here, you can see that it was updated today, February 18th. So what is new? Uh, the battery tracker adds average battery usage and screen on lines for seven days. Uh, the battery guardian adds more features to extend battery life, screen power saving, power saving during bedtime, optimized settings that use a lot of battery uh, power and more. And that's going to be working from anything from Samsung One UI 3.0 and beyond. So when you, you know, One UI 3.0, 3.1 and in the future 3.5. So the Thermal Guardian and Memory Guardian are added uh, from Samsung One UI 3.0 and it also depends on your model. So these are the two brand new modules. Then you have File Guardian, uh, which is gonna be ending its service just because of the, the expanded trash function of Samsung apps. So if you have Samsung One UI 3.0, you really don't need File Guardian, but it's at least there for the older devices. Oh yeah, and if you guys are brand new here at the channel Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest updates on Samsung applications, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. And again, a huge thank you for anybody who does give this thing a huge thumbs up. It does help the YouTube algorithm to push this video out to more people. Now going inside the description, this is what I mentioned from before. This is just a fast high overview. I'm just going to read these really quick so you guys know exactly what all these modules are inside of Galaxy Labs. So first off, the File Guardian keeps your deleted files for the selected time. So it's a way that you're able to be free from mistakes. So it's very similar to, you know, your uh, your gallery now has a trash. So now your phone has a trash for all the rest of your files, which is super helpful. So when you go inside of my files inside of your phone, if there's anything that you delete from there, it'll actually be stored for a selected time frame. Now, Battery Tracker lets you know the usage of applications within a day or week in your selected time frame. From now on, tracking the most battery consuming element uh, is now easier than ever. Battery Guardian detects bad apps behavior and does not allow them running on your device. We're, we're going to add more protections to your, uh, your battery health. For the Galaxy App Booster, it transfers executable files of each app to boost them up. New optimization solutions are going to be added uh, for future updates. Now, here are the two new ones. For the Thermal Guardian, it offers a way to track and manage devices' temperature. It provides solutions to detect source of heating, like excessive battery, CPU usages, and more than that. Uh, it adjusts thermal threshold levels to adjust performance and adapt to your personal usage. And then for Memory Guardian, it offers offers a way to track device performance based on memory usage and provide further function to clean up memory. It optimizes memory uh, will help increase your device performance. So this is just a few other things inside of there. So it's, it's really good for you to kind of do your own DD, your own due diligence. Take a look at the description. You can see what everything is. Um, so inside of here, this is what Galaxy Labs looks like. You know, again, very similar to GoodLock. So the first one up is gonna be Thermal Guardian. When you first tap on this, it allows you to download and install it. Mine's already downloaded and installed. So this is what it looks like. You see this little question mark you'd be able to tap on that so you can see exactly what you're able to do with this slider so drag the slider to control thermal threshold if you choose a lower threshold your device can prevent overheating and protect the device from heat if you choose a higher threshold your device can keep performance to a higher temperature but please be noticed uh, device temperature can be increased so let's take a look uh, we can move this one up looks like we're able to move it up by a, a celsius an individual celsius right there so if we put the thermal threshold at its top its peak then it's able to you know keep on running and doing everything it needs to do 
um, you know, as you are basically just using your phone heavy. Uh, underneath the CPU, if device's temperature is higher than the threshold, device may slow down. After cooling device down, performance will automatically return to normal. So basically, if it's going up to your threshold and it notices it's going above and beyond it, then it's going to kind of slow down a little bit. It's going to regain its its uh, lower temperature and then it's going to boost up and go, you know, the way it's supposed to go uh, for whatever you're doing. If it's games or whatever, and, and there's a lot of stuff that you can do uh, with the Galaxy app booster inside of there, especially for gaming. A lot of really cool things inside of there. Now for the Memory Guardian, this is probably one that I would use a little bit more uh, than maybe that thermal because once it's kind of set, it's set. But this is what the Memory Guardian looks like. It is actually pretty cool. It shows you every single thing that you're able to basically clear some of the memory, some of the cache. And so if there's particular applications you do not want to clear, you're able to you know, select it or on the very top, you can turn off that select all and you can individually, individually select a few applications at a time. Now here's the history. So this is actually pretty cool to see. Uh, so available space is everything that's right up on the top, right up over there. Um, for the cached, this is all the cached information that you're able to clear that, that we were able to see on that last screen. This is all the, the running memory that really kind of has to stay there as your phone is on and going and, and keeping some of the cached information and memory. And then this is everything running from the system. So what's really going to happen is this green or this uh, this blue area right here for cached. It looks like we would probably be able to clear that. So if we clear now, uh, then we should hopefully be able to see that there's a little bit more space. So let's go back inside of that memory guardian. And so we did clear out a little bit. And so now it says that there's 2.47. So the amount of space of that cached, you know, is actually still kind of sitting there, but this is very important to have. There's a lot of memory that needs to be stored inside of some of these applications. So in this way, your phone can run faster and open things up quicker. So it does look like that there is a little bit more white space on the top. And here's a good important note. So here's that little threshold line of 80%. If you guys are wondering what that little threshold little line is or if it keeps over 80%, reboot your device or force stop unused applications. So again, it's really nice to make sure that you don't wanna to use too much of your memory above that 80% because then it's just going to slow down your phone. So that is pretty much it for today's video. I really did wanna cover that Thermal Guardian and then the Memory Guardian as well. Now, when you go inside of any of these, if you do wanna hit download and install, this is what it's gonna look like if you've actually never done it before. So this one right here has been updated today, February 18th. So let's say that we go right on back to the Galaxy Labs. Um, battery tracker, I believe this one will probably say February 18th as well. So yeah, there we go. Pretty much every single thing in the Galaxy Labs has been updated and then they added in these last two modules. So I hope you guys have found help in this, uh, some good information. Maybe you've never seen Galaxy Labs before. Maybe you've never heard of it before. Anybody who does play games, you might wanna take a look at that, that, that Galaxy app booster, as well as the Battery Guardian. This one also did get an update today as well too. So again, just hit that little install button and just like good luck, all you have to do is you can just go right back inside of open. Uh, and that's pretty much about it. You can extend battery life, power saving during bedtime. This is super important. Actually, it's one of those things that I already do. Um, I put my phone uh, inside of this little nighttime mode, which basically I had set up from before. But now this application right here, this module can do it for me. So I usually start it usually around 11 p.m. 7 a.m. is very you know good for the next day. So there we go, uh, screen power saving. I mean, there's so many cool things you can do. Maybe I might cover some of these in a faster version inside of Samsung in a minute if you guys are not subscribed already. Uh, that link is below the video inside the description as well too. That's my second channel. Uh, but that's really it for today's video. Give this thing a huge thumbs up if you guys appreciated it. If you have not subscribed already, hit that little subscribe button on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Oh,